No, did you take it? Yeah. Here. One of the things that you know we, we we're trying to understand um, this week in our sermon series is the Ephesians chapter 5 passage at the end of the Ephesians chapter 5 and going into chapter 6 where Paul talks to us about how to order a household um, of how we can do that in a godly way. Can you guys just share how you guys have been able to use that passage and other passage even that uh, of doing that to be able to help um, just order your house in a godly way? Well our goal is to have a godly home where we raise our children to love the Lord and to serve each other and to have servants' hearts and for them to realize that the world doesn't revolve around them. Um, and one of the most important parts of that is really trying to keep up with our children's hearts by having heart-to-heart -heart talks with them on a regular basis and, um, and then keeping up not only with their outward actions but what's going on. Uh, if you see something happening like they're starting to have an uh, attitude change or, or something like that. Asking them, hey, is there something that's, that's gone on that you haven't told mom and dad about? And for the children to know that they have a safe place to share their heart. How do you differentiate roles in the family with teaching your kids submissiveness that the Bible teaches? And how do you, what age do you start their chores and their responsibilities? And how do you incorporate that so that they know that's just a part of life and what God kind of expects of us? So the last time we gave out our jurisdictions, jurisdictions are a certain area of our home or our life that um, we'll just kind of make sections or areas and say, okay, you're gonna learn how to master this now, you know, and when they're old enough, when they're young, I would let them help fold socks and towels and that would be their jurisdiction. They could gather the laundry. And, uh, and then as they got a little older, I would let them work with chemicals and teach them how maybe to like wipe down the counter in the bathroom and keep their area clean around their bed and different things like that. And, and uh, so they know every day on their checklist that they are responsible in the morning, first thing after they wake up, get dressed, have their quiet time, they go and clean their jurisdiction. From the time they're small though, we try to get the young ones to even carry their own weight. It might be throwing away a diaper, sure. or it might be the, when right. they're big enough to carry out a trash bag to take it out. And, and because we have a lot of kiddos, uh, it works out fun in the fact that they can have a team now. We've got buddy teams. And so like there might be an older one teamed up with a few younger ones. And so the older one may do the major work in their jurisdiction, like the kitchen, for instance. They'll they'll do the, the glass dishes and putting things in the oven, but the younger ones on their team will help them um, peel or scrub potatoes or open up the cans and bring all the supplies in for the food when they're preparing a meal. And they have fun getting to be a part of all that jurisdiction. Awesome. So they're learning and the older ones get the fun of getting to mentor them. Teaching and teach them, and they say you really learn when you teach. What's the one, the greatest thing, I guess, you want to leave with your children? And um, how do you get them there to that? How do you give them that? I think we both agree. We've said um, if we could teach our children two things before they're grown and out of our home, we tell them you'll be a success if you do these two things. Number one, you love God with your whole heart, soul, mind, and strength. And then number two, you love others and you look for ways to serve those around you. And if you do those two things, no matter what vocation, whatever skills you need to gain in life, wherever you go, if you will focus on those two things, you will be a success. Our love for the Lord and our love for each other really is our foundation for raising children. And when the children know that mom and dad love each other and they're committed to each other till death do them part, then that creates a security in the children that they know that God loves us, uh, we're gonna to try to work together as a team, and it's amazing what a family can do when they all work together uh, as one in the Lord.